we give God the glory, we give him all the honor, we give him all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. I want to thank God today for the opportunity we have to join together on an initiative as Dr. Arthur Frost has called us and we are in the same mindset, the same spirit, and we will continue to trust God today for the glory of the Lord is upon us today to pray and to uplift our nation and to give God the glory that is part of our mandate today. We're going to stand up and reverse this crisis. COVID-19 has to be reversed. We're not waiting for a second wave. We're waiting for the wave of the Spirit. But allow me this morning to come to you to say, when the enemy comes up against the church, it's the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony that we overcome him. So today, by the grace of God, can we together break bread this morning? I want to declare that his body was broken for us. And because his body was broken for us, we can have healing, deliverance, and freedom. He was wounded for our transgressions. Can we partake together as a declaration, health and strength on every physical body that COVID-19's time is up in Jesus' mighty name. Let's break bread together. Mm. Father, we give you the glory and we give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. Let's go to the blood of the Lamb this morning. We declare that they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Let's partake. I want us to take Daniel chapter 7 from verse 13. I'm just going to quote it because I want us to pray about it. The Bible says, when the war up against the saints of the Most High God came, the Bible says it all happened where there was victory on the side of the enemy until the Ancient of Days took in his place and until he came, God started to move. Right now, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost and just trust God with me. Give God honor, give him praise, and to God be the glory, to God be the glory. We give God honor and we give God praise right now. Father, we come in the name of Jesus, the anointed one of God. We declare that it's not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. We declare that there is nothing that's going to stop the glory of God from being manifested in this nation. This enemy, I bind your power. The blood of Jesus, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. I declare it right Right now in the name of Jesus you're an enemy the bride is wearing army boots we wrestle not against flesh and blood but today we declare victory victory over this enemy in the name of Jesus because the Bible is clear that the Lord the blood of the lamb and they overcame him I tell you I declare prophetically that you are here just for a season until the ancient of days takes up his seat while Jesus has taken up his rightful place and we declare your defeat in the name of Jesus we declare your defeat over families we declare your defeat over essential workers we declare your defeat over the minds of our leaders in government we break your power in the name of Jesus the saints arise and we declare the victory of God I declare it in Jesus mighty name family of God soldiers of the cross the bride is wearing army boots. This is a war and we will not be caught up with civilian affairs. God bless you and keep praying, keep praying, keep praying in Jesus' mighty name. It's nobody but God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.